Hello everybody, what's up? Resonators in here, what the fuck's going on? Um, I was originally going to do for this quick capture video an analytical uh, analysis, an, an analy analytical analysis, gee that's fucking redundant, an analysis of the two poems that I put up on YouTube where it's Danny Hawk, Cortex September, my recitation of that, and Billy Collins's uh, the names. I was going to compare and contrast them, which I did for a paper for English. Um, but I I scrapped that. I'm just going to do some selfless promoting and updating and stuff like that. So, as many of you know, I'm going to buy a Flip. Uh, I think it's a Flip Ultra, which is like, it's an hour-long video capture, video camera. Uh, I could probably get the cheaper one. It's, it's half hour. It's, it's a half hour of uh, video that you can record, um, but I think I'm just gonna get the full hour um, because it's it's only like a hundred bucks, which is pretty good considering. Um, so expect videos that are better quality. That's all I really gotta say. Uh, I'll give you a tour of the house. Uh, I'll give you. A, I'll show you the spectacular wall of military integrity. Um, there's a thing that my dad got. Uh, that was made for uh, my grandfather. Uh, it's a plaque that tells you that he was a marine, that he was a con uh, colonel or uh, corporal. He was a corporal. He was a volunteer, and the years he spent in uh, the military. Uh, there's also a flag, which was a thing from my mom's boyfriend. Uh, it's an eagle with one fling being one f uh, wing being the American flag and the other one being a POW MIA flag, which is very touching. But the really touching thing that's on this wall, on the mantle by the fireplace, is a painting of someone who's at the uh, Vietnam War Memorial, and he's leaning against it. Uh, and on the reflection of the wall is not what you expect of the guy; it's of men who have died on in Vietnam. Which is, it's a very poignant picture and I'll show you that up close, I'll show you that, uh, what else I was talking about. I'll give you a tour of the condo, uh, I'll show you my room, which probably many of you want to know what it looks like, it's a fucking mess, I gotta tell you. Um, also, I, it's really, I want, I want to get the camera before May 30th, as I think I've stated before, uh, because there's a show of my asshole victim, uh, it's their debut show for their album, which, uh, if you're in the tri-state area, I really suggest you go to the show. It's in Newton, uh, New Jersey. So if you live in the tri-county state, uh, tri-county area, you should go see them. Uh, there's no compa there's no comparison between the recordings and them live. Them being live, in my opinion, is is way better because they do much more things when they're live. Uh, they do the Power Rangers theme, which is awesome. The way they do it, it's badass. Um, if that, if that was the version for the cartoon, uh, the show, I would have watched it more. Um, even though I was a big fan of it. Um, I'll also ask the members if uh, I can interview them for my thing, where I just talk to, ask them about their past, um, how they got here, um, how they came to be. Uh, most of this stuff I semi already know. Um, but I really just want to ask them other questions, uh, stuff like that. Uh, so I gotta go ask them if they'll be willing to be interviewed. Um, and I'll do a review of their album when I buy it, which will be the 30th, hopefully. Um, uh, oh yeah, you can also, if you go to their shows, you can buy a shirt not unlike this. I'm showing you my fat fucking torso. Uh, it's a My Eyes Fall Victim shirt. Uh, this is, I believe, called the Splatter Tee, which, if you really just look at it at first, it looks like you just fucking murdered someone. I get strange looks when I w wear this shirt sometimes because people are like, is that fucking blood on this shirt? It's awesome. But, um, you can go buy this shirt, or you can go buy any of the new designs they have from their MySpace, or you can go to their shows, and I'm pretty sure they're going to have it. Uh, they're a bunch of cool guys. Um, 
as I think I've said in other videos, I know two of them, like, personally. Uh, the other guys I know, but, like, I haven't known them all that long. Um, uh, Dan and Mike are the two ones I really know. Um, um, I knew them from high school, really. Like, I used to talk to them in high school and stuff like that. We were in Latin class for a while together. Uh, it was really fun. Uh, we had the best teacher for Latin. Uh, oh, that's an, I'll give you a tour of Newton. Uh, when I get the cam, I'll do a tour of Newton. I'll just walk around where the place I used to spend time, uh, which is the high rise, uh, the cemetery, which is awesome. <laughs> You're going to be creeped out when I go there and uh, other places. Um, I'll give you a tour of Montague. I'll go walk around, ask people questions. Uh, I really want to ask. Uh, I, I want to do a video where I'm just asking the guys of my some of the questions. Some of them I already know the answers to. Some of them I don't. Uh, I want to put them up on YouTube so you can get to know them better. Um, which I, I, I think you grasped how they are in the in studio videos if you've seen them on their YouTube. Um, They're really great guys in person. Um, I hope to hang with them soon. Uh, but yeah. Um, at, I guess the end of this video, I'll just talk about what cool teachers I had in high school. Uh, as you may or may not remember, I did a video in memory of uh, Mr. Chester, who was an awesome teacher, who I had, I think, my last year. Of high school. I, I don't remember when I had him because my brain is fucking mush right about now, but he's awesome. Um, the the coolest teacher I had was Miss Christman. Miss Christman was the most awesome teacher ever. She was the Latin teacher. She was awesome. Like she was. She would like drink Coke and smoke. It was awesome. She was the best teacher. She, she was just like, whatever. <laughs> um, oh, also, I forgot to add this because I keep doing this capture shit over again. Um, I'm going to ask, I, I'm going to put up this um, DVD that was burned for uh, my theater class. Um, I got to ask, I'm not sure if I got to ask the people in the disc because I want to post the full thing, but I don't think I can. Due to it involving other people in my class, I gotta ask them if it's okay if I upload it into YouTube. Up to YouTube. Um, but if it's not, I'm just gonna ask my friend because it's me and my friend. Uh, there's a section of it's just me and my friend that are doing the section, and um, uh, if I can just ask him, I think I can just put that one part of it, and uh, I'll do that. And. Um, I'll ask him and put it up, and you can see how much of a fucking dork I was in high school. Um, yeah, cause I you seriously, I'm such a big fucking dork in high school. I'm, I was such a dork. Like I'm not a dork now. Uh, <laughs> I'm only a dork who is more expressive than I was in high school. Um, I think that's all about all I'm going to say in this video. So, peace, love, harmony, and I'm off like a prom dress. And go to my Spot Victim show, the 30th, for their debut of their album. And go buy merchandise on their site, and go buy pre order their d CD on their site. And go buy merch on their MySpace. See you guys later. And here's the hoping that I get to interview my Spot Victim. Peace out, guys.